This is a standard level question, and it's going to be about cosine and sine rule. So what I've got here is a non-right angle triangle, and I've got to find A to C. So A to C is here, so I'm just going to label that with an X. And in a non-right angle triangle, I've got two things. I've got the sine rule and the cosine rule. Actually, three, because I've also got the area rule. But I have to decide which one I'm going to use. It's not the area because it doesn't mention area, but is it the cosine rule or the sine rule? The cosine rule has three sides and one angle. One of those thing, four things is missing. And the sine rule uses two sides and two angles. So let's have a look at this. I've got one side, two sides, three sides. I include the one that's missing and an angle. So I'm going to go for the cosine rule here. And you'll see the cosine rule in the formula booklet like this. Now this C here and this AB, they don't have to match up with the one in the diagram. So all I have to do is to take that C and match it with this big C. This big C is an angle and it's opposite this one here. So if I know the angle, the only angle I've got is 100, then opposite that angle is X. So I can now know, I know that this X, that's the one I don't know. A and B, it doesn't matter. So I've got six squared, which is 36, 10 squared, which is 100. Take away, and I'm gonna put this into brackets. I don't think the formula sheet has this part in brackets, but I'm gonna put all this in brackets. So two times six times 10 times cosine 100. And I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna show you that I've got that done on my calculator. Okay, my calculator's in degree mode. And I've got 36 at 136, take away 2 times 6 times 10 times cos 100. And now that's in a bracket. That comes out as 156, and then I'm going to square root it. And I get the 12.5. Okay, just the same as there. So that's part A done. Now part B, I need the sign rule because part B. I'm trying to find BCA, BCA. So I'm trying to find this angle here. So I've got one angle, two angles, and two sides. Actually, I've got three sides, but I haven't got this angle. So what I'm going to do here is this angle that I want to know, that's C, and it's opposite six. So sine C is opposite six. Let's get rid of the whole thing. Sine C is opposite 6, so that, that one there becomes 6. Sine B, which is 100, and that's opposite 12.5. And then I multiply both sides by this 6, and then use my calculator to get the final answer. This is quite a straightforward question. And I, if I was going into the SL exam, question number one, six marks, I would be aiming to get this question done in less than four minutes.